Hello. Hi. Oh, yeah. I guess just in case people don't know you, do you mind like just introducing yourself and what you study? Yeah. So, hello. My name is Bisma and I'm a first year student at the University of Auckland. I'm a first year biomedical student and yeah, that's about it. Wait, so, I guess like your intention is to get into medicine, right? Open to it. I'm not really. You know how some people are very strict about it? Oh, okay. Like, need to get into med. I'm yeah. very, I'm like open to it. If it happens, it happens. If not, I'm completely okay with it. So, okay. Yeah. So like, um, what's your, I guess, like backup? Like, what else do you wanna? Are you interested in doing? I've just kind of applied to like all the clinical programs and okay. just seen, just looking at all of those. Obviously, the uncertainty around 2020 clinical yeah. program entries is real. So, yeah, we'll have to see. I'm just looking at my options. I'm not too strict about it. I know I could do like whatever. It's just more in my interest in like a lot of things. Like optometry is pretty interesting to me. Medical imaging is also pretty cool because it's like a rising field, especially overseas. So that's pretty interesting as well. Sweet, cool. Um, yeah. So why did you decide on the University of Auckland and like why biomed rather than like health science or something else? So I was thinking of Otago. I had some friends that went last year. They said that they got like homesick. It was like a big thing on like. It was hard to get back home quite a bit and like flights and accommodation. It was like a whole thing and then student loans as well. So there's that. But I chose Auckland because obviously I live in Auckland. It's just like more convenient and I couldn't really see myself going anywhere else. I know this is like this thing where it's like, oh, Auckland is the superior university. But yeah, I don't really believe in that. I just think every university is cool. Um, but yeah, Auckland just was more convenient. In terms of biomed versus health sciences, for me personally, I liked physics more than like report-based learning. Yeah, so that's like the main difference between biomedical sciences and health sciences. One is more report-based and one is more test-based. They're both equally as hard, which I know a lot of people think health sciences is easier, but it's not. So yeah, that was the main thing. I just like physics. Yeah, so I guess kind of people see it as quite hard like do you feel there's pressure or like do you feel like it's competitive oh yeah definitely <laughs> like definitely. yeah of course it's, yeah it's very competitive I don't know what else to say like it just is competitive <laughs> yeah like how have you found making friends okay so me personally I haven't made that many friends in biomed itself a because like no one really talks and b because like we've been on online uni oh, yeah, true. So, like I haven't been to lectures pretty much this whole year because covid Right. So there's that. And yeah, I have a lot of friends outside of Biomed, if that makes sense. And they're mainly like high school friends and like old friends. It's mainly just because first year, this year, it's just been harder because of all the online uni requirements, if that makes sense. But I'm also at halls, which makes it easier to make friends. Right, right. Yeah, so what, like what was with you in halls? Like did you move in just for a few months and then move out or like... <laughs> Okay, so halls, they had like this uh, semester two scholarships or something. Oh, okay. um, so I'm just there for semester two and it's just like in and out. I don't, not really that strict on like, I have to stay in halls or stay at home because obviously I'm not paying for it. So if I was paying for it, then I'd probably just stay in halls. But right. since I'm not really paying for it, it's like I just go in and out whenever. Yeah, I like that option because then when I have like classes, or when I have to get a lot of work done, that I just go to halls, do my thing. If I want to chill, come back home a bit. So, yeah. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I guess if someone's, th like, watching this and they're thinking of going to halls or, like, not sure, like, how do you feel? Like, halls versus living at home? They're both great. Yeah. Hall is good because you get food, like, cooked for you. Right. And you meet a lot more people. It's, like, good vibes. Um, but I will say it's easier to get sick because it's obviously communal living. Okay. And then it's also easier to like get distracted because there's so many people around you. There's events going at all times. There's people talking, people going in and out. There's like a lot of residents in one area. So it's easier to get distracted. So if you're the kind of person that gets distracted around other people, then halls is pretty much the center place of that. But at home, it's also nice because you get like home cooked meals and like you could just chill it at home by yourself. If you're an independent learner and you get distracted, then home is also great. Honestly, I think both is great. I like both experiences. So that's why I go in and out a lot. So yeah. Okay, true. 
What about like school versus uni? Like what, oh, are, yeah. what are the major differences for you? Content wise, yeah. big difference. So in high school, one, so basically one lecture in uni is like one week of high school in terms of the amount of content and the speed and the level of detail you need to know. It's very different. NCA has this thing where it doesn't really do any like anatomy, just human body, biology or anything. So it's very much plant-based, evolution-based and all that. So that's the thing I think is lacking in high school, but then you get a lot of that in university. Yeah, so. I feel like I learned more anatomy and PE than biology. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very true. That's so true. Like year 10 PE, true anatomy. <laughs> okay, um, so do you ever like have... Do you have to deal with procrastination or like any tips? Oh yeah, definitely. Study and stuff. If you don't procrastinate, then I don't. I feel like you're just lying. Yeah. So like, I would say for me, I have to turn off my phone, like, because I get a lot of notifications and like distractions on that. There's a lot of people reaching out at all times. For me personally, like on all platforms, like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, like it's like always busy and it's just overwhelming so I take I turn off my phone I just put it away that's my biggest thing honestly if I feel like I'm not gonna get any work done I just go and do something else for like a set amount of time like I'll go for a walk yeah. and then come back and just get right back into it yeah that's me personally but also I just listen to like good music if I want to do some sort of passive learning but also trying to get some work done but yeah it depends on the day and also the week and like what's coming up like if it's a test then it's like no you can't do that right um do you have any specific techniques like i know you um use your ipad but like do you have favorite apps you have or yeah so i like using whiteboards because there's so much content and i like looking at things when i'm like in certain spaces so i'll have it all over like my walls and stuff like specific things that I just forget quite a bit, which is a lot, but I still forget it. And then I use this thing called Anki quite a bit. It's like a program. It's like a flashcard kind of program. It does like space repetition, active recall in like one program. You just enter in all the information you need and you just go through it every once in a while. But it is kind of time consuming, so I don't use it all the time. What else? And also I just talk to myself. Like I try to explain it to myself. Yeah, that's basically it. But the iPad, an iPad also really helped because it's like lighter weight, easier to use, it's more accessible on all platforms like Google Drive and just emails and everything. So it's pretty good. Yeah. Do you find that most people like take notes digitally rather than on paper? Yeah, I've seen that a lot in Biomed. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people, Biomed and House Side, there's a lot of people with tablets and stuff. Not necessarily like iPad, it could just be like a Surface or something. Um, but yeah, it's because mainly in labs and stuff, um, we have like so many diagrams and it's hard to do that on paper because you have to write all over like the course notes and everything and you have to deliver that and submit that as an assignment. So it makes it easier. Cool. Um, so yeah, now on to like YouTube. Who do you like to watch? Oh, okay. Oh, that's a good question. I have so many. Hmm. Just like anywhere, like New Zealand or like in general? Yeah, anywhere. 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 Okay. So, oof, okay. Do you know Best Dressed? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Best Dressed. Passion. She's amazing. Yes Theory, Gary Vaynerchuk, Karma Medic. Ooh, what's her yeah. name? Oh, there's some like nice like um, New Zealand ones too. Um, there's like Emma Stevens. She's quite nice. That's all I could think of, but I'm sure there's more. I'm sure there's way more. That's all good. Um, so yeah, like, I'm wondering like, why did you start your channel? Because you started off kind of like vlogs and stuff. So do you just yeah. kind of, like document or? I don't even like have a structure to it. I just do whatever. Um, I don't post very frequently either because it's just a lot of work and my standards are so high that I just like don't want to keep doing like a weekly upload or anything because I don't have time to do that. So it's mainly like vlogs and like student based content for New Zealand and spe like specifically. I think in the past, like I started like last year, end of last year, out of the blue, just randomly. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm finished with exams. I have some time. Might as well learn how to edit and all that. And then I just started making some videos. They were just random. And then once I started uni, I was like, you know, I could just start making some vlogs. And then that's how that started. Cool. That's about it. <laughs> cool, cool. I feel like your makeup's always on point. So like, do you remember, <laughs> Um, the first like makeup product that you ever 
Go away, you ever used. I don't know. I feel like it would have been like drugstore things, like just like yeah. cheap, like farmer's makeup or something. Okay. Like, yeah. And then I think the first thing I, because I think when Sephora opened up in New Zealand, I went to that and they gave us like heaps of stuff. So that was pretty much my first like okay. makeup splurge. Yeah. So if you're only allowed like three products, what would you keep? Oh, that's cool. Uh, concealer, because I get no sleep. Yeah. Um, and probably lashes and blush yeah okay that's interesting <laughs> yeah. yeah i feel like yeah i feel like those make the most difference probably like get your yeah they do yeah um, but yeah okay so i know you're all kind of into finance as well so like how did you get into that because i know like that's something a lot of students struggle with <laughs> yeah okay so that's something so i've always known from like a very early age like year 10 or something that a lot of people struggle with finances as they get older I don't know where I got that but like I just knew that and then I started looking at oh yes so one of my favorite youtubers is Graham Stephan he's like this finance channel um and he does like really good videos does he like take calls like and then answer people's oh he does that sometimes yeah he has like two channels so there's one that's like more generic content around finance and then there's one that's more like he's reacting to things or answering people's oh, yeah. calls yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it could be either or so this is that yeah so I got into finance through that YouTube mainly just YouTube yeah. but he's very specific to the US so I was always looking at things specific to New Zealand but there isn't that much on YouTube that's specific yeah. to New Zealand so I'd always read like websites and blogs and all that and then I just met some like finance people here and there especially in my first year in uni and they were just really cool and they just like gave me all these tips and things and I was like you know what I should share these these are so like helpful and so like insightful so that's how I got into finance I love finance like it's just something that's like really sparked my interest this year so yeah <laughs> right yeah like TikTok you're quite big on there so like do you <laughs> is that like your preferred social network <laughs> okay so I don't like being called like an influencer or a TikToker yeah. or whatever. But yeah, I like TikTok because A, editing is built straight into the app. Okay. Um, B, it's really quick and easy to use. Like it'll probably take me, if I was to do this, if I was to TikTok every day, for example, but I don't, um, it would take me 15 minutes to get some content out. Whereas if I was to do YouTube, that would take me like five hours or six hours of editing at least. Yeah. So it was, it was mainly that and also my audience is younger anyway so I was like TikTok is great and I yeah there's a lot of stigma around TikTok but I don't really make dancing videos or like yeah. you know the generic like lip sync videos I just make like specific content to New Zealand and just like fun little challenges if I'm into it cool, cool. I like TikTok um, yeah oh I'm just wondering like do you have part-time jobs or like do you feel like it's manageable to work while you're studying okay so I have jobs but I'm not taking shifts, mainly because I can't manage it at the moment. But yeah, I do have, I have, so I do like contract work. And then I also do like holiday program assistance, um, which is like a tough little thing. Cause I have to, it's like outdoor based. So I take care of like a bunch of kids outdoors, they're climbing trees. So I have to be like really good with like emergency <laughs> training and like yeah. health and stuff. So there's that, which is stressful, but it's also really fun. Um, and then I do like marketing promotions and like all that on the side, which I have a contract with as well. So I don't have to work. It's only if I'm able to work, then I can go in and do my shifts. But at the moment, I'm not taking it up. And I don't think many biomed students work. There are some, but there aren't that many. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is, I don't know if you can answer, but like how, how many hours a week would you say that you spend studying? Oh, yeah, I don't know. A lot. Oh. <laughs> A lot of people would ask me this. I don't know. I'm going to be honest. Because there's also like lecture time, yeah. which is kind of studying. But like those are like compulsory. Those are like four hours a day anyway. Four hours times by like five, that's 20 hours already. It's so, like a full-time job, basically. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Like, yeah. Cool. It's, yeah. It's a lot. <laughs> I don't know how to explain okay. it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess just finally, if someone's watching this and like they're coming to um, Auckland Uni and they're like doing biomed maybe next year. Do you have any tips or advice? Uh, just keep on top of 
the schedules because it's really easy to get behind. Like I'm slightly behind today just by like taking a couple hours off. Yeah. <laughs> so like it's really easy to get behind. Um, and then you have no time to study for tests. So that's why you want to stay on top of things. So then you have time to study and you want to weave in that study throughout the semester, not leave it till the end after all your lectures. So yeah, I'm still working on it. You learn a lot through like just being in the process of doing biomed. So you'll find your way. But yeah, keep on top of things. That would be my one thing. Cool, cool. Yeah, I think just for general in uni, like for everything. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. That's like general time. advice. Yeah. Cool, cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you so much. <laughs> I'll okay, leave links you. down below so they can all follow you. Like Yeah, all good. Thank uh, you so much. Yeah, thanks so much for your time and um enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> See ya. Bye. Cool.